Welcome to Vive Talk. Today we are talking about the latest development in Vive Sync. Great news for Vive Sync users. As well as holding virtual meetings in VR, Vive Sync now enables web browsing and allows participants to join with their mobile phone or tablet too. The impact of COVID-19 has propelled VR into an invaluable tool to solve many of the inconveniences of the pandemic. There have been VR concerts, VR fashion shows, VR seminars, VR courses, VR conferences, VR social interactions, and various other usage scenarios. As a result, HTC Vive released the Vive XR Suite software package last year. And one of the key elements is Vive Sync, which focuses on remote collaboration. Vive Sync has hosted thousands of meetings with people in over a hundred countries. For everything from team meetings to university classes to private gatherings. As part of HTC's strategy to continue improving and enhancing key software, Vive Sync can now boast a new slew of features in the most recent update. Most notably, native web browsing support has been added, as well as support for Android platform updates. The ability to browse the web in VR during a meeting is very practical. If you need to open a web page in a meeting for case analysis and explanation, for quick fact checking, or for smoother team communication, opening a web page without leaving the virtual meeting is the most natural way. Supporting the Android operating system is also a useful feature. Not having a VR headset shouldn't preclude you from attending a VR conference. With Android support, you can join a Vive Sync meeting with an Android device, such as a smartphone or a tablet. If you'd like to try a virtual reality meeting, just go to the Google Play Store, install it, and give it a shot.